Hello and welcome to the second video of the Lotus Flower Blanket. This is starting from row 11, round 11. If you want to see how you do the first 10 rounds, click the video here, which shows you how to do the first 10 rows, which are the sort of setup rounds for the blanket. So the next few rows that I'm going to show you well, the rest is how you increase the blanket. So you've got it round and it's now how you keep it expanding out, but keeping flat. Because the trouble with circular blankets is they have a tendency to start to ruffle if there's too many stitches or too many increases and they just don't lie flat. So because this is quite a long pattern for my baby blanket, it's 50 rounds. So I'm splitting this up into various videos. So this is picking up from row 11, which is the sort of first of the increase rounds. So grab your hook, grab your yarn. Hopefully you've just followed on from my last video, so you're already primed and ready. So from this point on, I'm gonna be describing, because it's quite wordy, I'm gonna be describing the stitches as follows. I'm gonna have them listed here. So a V stitch is a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. That is a V stitch. For the increase, and I'll show you the increase stitch, it's a much larger version of a, a V stitch, essentially. But I will describe that when we get to that, we're getting that to in a minute. But when I say V stitch, it's double crochet, chain three, double crochet. I'm also described, I did in the last video too, these sort of shell rows as petals, because obviously it's the lotus flower blanket. So when I'm talking about the middle, it'll be on a nine double crochet petal, it'll be the fifth double crochet, but I'll get to that one. And I will write things here as and when, so you can see what I'm referring to, especially if you're following the written pattern as well. So for row 11, you are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and pop a single crochet into the same stitch. Chain three. And you're going to pop a V stitch into the single crochet from the round below. So V stitch, it's double crochet, chain three, double crochet all into the same stitch. That is the V stitch. Chain three. And you're gonna pop a single crochet in the middle of your petal. So this is a nine double crochet petal. So it's the fifth double crochet along. So one, two, three, four, five. Right in the center top. chain three and now we're going to do an increase so all into this single crochet here you are going to do double crochet chain three double crochet chain three double crochet chain three and a double crochet all into the same stitch. That is an increase. So double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, which gives you, so that's your normal V stitch here, gives you a three chain spaced little loop. That's your increase. Chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal, which is the fifth stitch along. Chain three, V stitch 
to that single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal, which is the fifth double crochet along. Chain three, increase, which is double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Chain three, double crochet. Oops, drop your hook. Chain three, double crochet. Chain three, single crochet to the fifth. So your increase, to bring it down here, just so you're totally clear, because I'm going to be shouting increase quite a lot. It's made up of four double crochets with three chain three spaces. That is your increase. So you're going to carry on all the way around, V-stitch, increase, V-stitch, increase, with chain threes either side. That made that sound quite complicated. So chain three, V-stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, increase, chain three, single crochet, chain three, V-stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, increase, all the way round. And I shall meet you back, it's getting quite big now, <laughs> over here. So feel free to pause the video whilst you crochet around. I'll crochet around and I'll see you back over here in just a moment. So when you get to the end of your round, like I am here, you're gonna substitute that last single crochet for a slip stitch. So you've come all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that single crochet. And you should have V-stitch, increase, V-stitch, increase, V-stitch, increase, all the way around your blanket. ending on an increase. So round 12, chain one, single crochet into that same stitch and into your V-stitch pop nine double crochet. Thought I'd done too many then. So you've got nine double crochet, single crochet to the top of your single crochet from the round below, and then you get to your increase section. So in this first chain three space of your increase, you're going to pop seven double crochet. Yeah. 
into the second chain three space of your increase, pop a single crochet. And into the third and final chain three space of your increase, seven double crochet. single crochet into the top of the next single crochet and you can see your nine double crochet in your v-stitch and this is your increase so in that increase seven double crochet single crochet seven double crochet so you're going to continue round nine double crochet into your v-stitch single crochet into the top of the single crochet and then in your increase seven double crochet single crochet seven double crochet so keep doing that all the way around nine double crochet single crochet seven double crochet single crochet seven double crochet single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back over here on the last increase. So when you get the end of your round, like you've been doing before, you're going to substitute that last single crochet for a slip stitch to the first single crochet of your round, if you can. I can't actually. There we go. Sometimes it's really difficult to crochet via my screen. So I'm not actually looking at what I'm doing in person, I'm looking at it through my camera. So sometimes that's why I miss yarn overs and things. It's, it's quite a skill, which I'm still learning. So that is the end of row 12, which was your first sort of increase rows. All the rows are sets of two. So you've got your sort of V-stitch setup row and then your petal rows. So as you can see, you've got all your little petals formed around the outside. And you can't really see on this film because my camera doesn't quite go. Let's lift it up a bit. That's a bit better. <clears throat> so you can see that if you were to continue just increasing where your increases are, you would get a lot of extra stitches and you'd form sort of like a 12-sided polygon as you went round. So two things come into play with this blanket. One, we offset where we're doing our increases so they don't sit on top of each other. So we're going to be staggering those. And the second but most important bit is for every time you do a set of increase rows like we've just done, you have to follow with a set of non-increase rows. So it keeps the blanket flat, otherwise it starts to ruffle, you get too many stitches. So we're about to do rows 13 and 14, and 13 and 14 are the non-increase rows. So you're going to repeat these two rows every time you've done a set of increase rows. So if you're following the pattern, this will make sense. So hopefully you had a quick skim read through. But this is row 13, which is a non-increase row. And you are going to repeat rows 13 and 14 periodically throughout the entire blanket. So these are the important ones to watch. So row 13, chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Did I just chain one, two, three? Four. Oh no, I did chain four. I'm going mad. So chain four. And you're going to pop a double crochet into the same stitch. Chain three. And put a single crochet into the middle of your petals. Now, on your nine double crochet petal, 
that's the fifth stitch along. One, two, three, four, five. So it's this one here. Chain three. And pop a V stitch into the single crochet the row below. That's V stitch, it's double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all into the same space. Chain three. And again, you're gonna pop a single crochet into the middle of your petal. Now this one, it's one of your increased ones, it's a seven double crochet petal. So you go into the fourth. One, two, three, four. That's the middle. So on your large ones, go into the fifth. And on your smaller ones, on the increases, go into the fourth. Chain three. And you're going to pop a V stitch into that single crochet in between your two increased petals. Chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal. Again, it's a seven double crochet one. So into the fourth. Chain three. V stitch into the single crochet. Chain three single crochet into the middle of the next petal. So you're going to continue that all the way around. V stitch, chain three, single crochet into the middle of the petal, chain three, V stitch into the next single crochet. Don't forget to put one in between on your increases. So it'll look a bit like this as you go around. So keep going all the way around, V stitches into all the single crochets here, 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 all the way around and I shall meet you back over here. You're going to end the row with a slip stitch to the third chain of your initial chain four. So that was row 13, the setup for the non-increase row. And now we're going to go on to do row 14, which is the second part of the set of the non-increase rows. Remember, these are the two you're going to be referring back to. So you're going to slip stitch into chain space, chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and pop four double crochet into the same space. single crochet into the single crochet from around below and then into every V stitch chain three space on the way around you're going to put nine double crochet and you're going to pop a single crochet into the top of every single crochet so nine double crochet single crochet nine double crochet single crochet all the way round so it's a non increase set of rows these two and it's what will keep your blanket flat because you're keeping your stitch count in check carry on all the way around and I shall meet you over here 
on this single crochet. Well, I'm right at the end of the row now. I've done my last single crochet and you end with four double crochets into that same chain three space that you started with. And then you are going to slip stitch to the top of your initial chain three. And that's the end of row 14. For row 15, we're not going to quite split the increasing just yet. We're just going to slightly offset it. So you can see we've got an increase over here. We don't want the next set of increases to sit directly in line with that. So we're just going to switch them around. So you are going to chain one and pop a single crochet to the same space. Chain three. And then you're going to straight away do an increase into this first single crochet. So an increase is four double crochets with chain three spaces in between. So you've got your increase straight away here and chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal, which because all of these is a non-increase round the row below, below, so it's all going to be into the fifth double crochet. Chain three, V-stitch to the next single crochet from the row below. Chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal. So that's the fifth double crochet. Chain three, V-stitch. Chain three, single crochet to the top of your petal. So you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So increase, V stitch, V stitch. Increase, V stitch, V stitch. Increase, V-stitch, V-stitch, all the way around your blanket. And I shall let the cat out, go all the way around, and meet you back here on your last V-stitch. So at the end of your round, oh, my blanket's getting quite big now quite hard to manhandle in my squeaky seat. You're going to substitute that last single crochet for a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the row. So you should have all the way around increase, V-stitch, V-stitch, increase, V-stitch, V-stitch, increase, V-stitch, V-stitch, all the way around, ending with two V-stitches. So row 16, chain one, single crochet to the same space. Single 
seven double crochet because it's an increase seven double crochet into the first chain three space of your increase single crochet into the next chain space of your increase, seven double crochet to that third chain three space of your increase. Single crochet into the single crochet from the row below. And then nine double crochet into your V-stitch. single crochet into the single crochet and continue around in that fashion so nine double crochet into your next chain three space of the v-stitch and then any time you come to your increase seven double crochet single crochet seven double crochet single crochet in all the single crochets nine new v-stitches so keep going all the way around filling in all your petals and i shall meet you back over here end your round with a slip stitch to the initial single crochet getting rather large now. <laughs> it's really difficult to show you, but you can see how your increases, this is from before, are offset so they're not sitting directly in line with each other, which keeps the edge circular all the way around. So because you have just done a set of increase rows, you now follow it with a set of non-increase rows, which is repeating row 13 and 14. So I'll give you a really quick refresher. Chain four, double crochet. Chain three. And then you're going to pop your single crochet into the middle stitch of your petals. So that'll be the fourth double crochet on a seven petal and the fifth on your larger nine double crochet petals. Chain three, V-stitch into the single crochet from the round below. It's very important that you don't forget to pop a V-stitch in the single crochet in between your increase petals. Chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal. Do that all the way around. Chain three, V-stitch into the single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal. Chain three, V-stitch, chain three, single crochet. All the way around. At the end of your round, your slip stitch to the third chain of your initial chain four. And then to start the repeat of row 14, second part of your non-increase round, you slip stitch into this chain space, chain three, and pop four double crochet into the same space.
single crochet into a single crochet from the round below and then in every chain three space of the V stitches from the round below you're going to put nine double crochet in every single one all the way around and I will meet you back here for the just finishing off the end of your non-increase round. So don't forget this is a repeat of round 14. When you reach the end of your row, you're going to end on four double crochet into that chain space. slip stitch into the chain three and then your blanket should be getting suitably huge now <laughs> or if you're using a well not so huge but either way still plenty big enough to start keeping you a bit warm so row 19 this is just a normal increase row. It's not staggered, just normal. So you're going to chain one, single crochet in the same place, chain three, and we are going to be doing three, then an increase. So three normal V stitches followed by an increase all the way over here. So V-stitch, chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal, chain three, V-stitch. Chain three, single crochet into the middle of your petal. So that's two, so one more. Chain three, V stitch. Chain three. single crochet into the middle of your petal. So that is your one, two, three. Now we're going to increase. So chain three and then pop an increase into that single crochet. single crochet into the top of your petal. So you should have one, two, three, then your increase. So keep doing that all the way around. One, two, three, increase all the way around and you'll end over here with an increase. So pause the video and I shall meet you back over here. So at the end of row 19, as always, substitute out that last stitch for a slip stitch to your first stitch of the round. And then row 20 is filling in the petals. So chain one, single crochet to the same stitch. And then into every V stitch, you'll put nine double crochet and a single crochet into your single crochet nine double crochet, single crochet, nine double crochet, single crochet. Then when you hit your increase, 
Don't forget it's seven double crochet, single crochet, seven double crochet. So you crack on with that round, pause the video, and I shall meet you once again back at the end of the round, round 20. See you in a bit. So that's row 20. Substitute out that last stitch for a slip stitch to the first. And that's row 20 done. And because that was an increase row, you now need to do another couple of non-increase rows. So go ahead and repeat row 13 and 14. I've written what they are here because you've done lots of them now. So I'm sure you've got that down and I shall meet you back in a little bit when you have done another two rows where you've repeated row 13 and 14. See you back here again in a minute. So I've just finished up my repeat of row 13 and 14, the non-increase round. And I just wanted to, before I let you carry on and just continue on, I wanted to explain quickly the staggering that I talk about in the written pattern, because now we are about to start row 23. So for your increases to make your blanket bigger, obviously we have been doing one increase and then two increase and then three increase. So all the way, if you look back through your blanket, so one, two, three, and then the increase. So the next row would be four, and then an increase, five, increase, six, increase, seven, increase, and so on and so forth. Obviously popping a non-increase round in between each time. So you've got your three increase here. So one, two, three, increase. So the next one would be one, two, three, four, and then increase. But obviously the whole point of staggering is to avoid these increases sitting on top of each other. I know I've harped on a lot about it already in my video and my last video, but I just wanna make sure that you really like get it, why I'm doing it. Because even from this stage, if you just started putting your increases sitting on top of each other, you're just going to get squared it's not going to be a nice fluid circle. So because you know you've got to do one, two, three, four, and then your increase next, what we're gonna do is to avoid stacking on top of each other. That first set of four, and then the increase, we're going to split like that. Does that make sense? So we're gonna start with two, pop your increase here, and then the remaining two stitches that you haven't worked yet, or the normal V-stitches, go at the end. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So you're going to V-stitch, V-stitch, then pop your increase there. So you split the first four. If I do it like that, does that make sense? So you've got one, two, and then your increase, but you've still got two left to work. So one, two, increase to start, and then as you go around your blanket, one, two, three, four, increase, just as normal. Do that all the way around. And then when you get back over here, you'll have space for the remaining split, so remaining two V stitches. So it means that instead of starting here and increasing, you're kind of overlapping on this section. So for the staggered row of 23, V stitch, V stitch, increase, and then V-stitch, 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 increase all the way around. So your four increase all the way around. And then when you get back here, you'll have two, just two to work. And then, of course, you follow that with non-increase rounds. And then for the following round to go up again, you don't need to stagger that one. So then it would be a five increase. So then you could just start, start from here. One, two, three, four, five increase and do that all the way around and then the next time split it so then you'd have six with an increase so split six <laughs> one two three four 
with your increase over here. So then you split that. So you'd start with three increase and have three remaining stitches to work at the end. I've got, oh God, I've made that sound so confusing. If you do a lot of amigurumi and you are used to staggering your increases to keep a flat circle, then this will make perfect sense to you. If not, go to my blog and read my written pattern. Even if you can't read patterns and you prefer a visual guide, just go there and you'll see how numerically, I've listed it at the bottom of my blog post, numerically how you increase. Because this blanket, for the baby blanket using the whirl, I did 40, no, 50, 50 rounds. Now, this has taken me forever just to get to the beginning of round 23. So it's crazy to think that I have enough hours in the day <laughs> to take you through to all 50, or more importantly, that I even crochet fast enough. So I just wanted to grab you right at the end because I'm fairly confident you've got this sort of petal repeat idea. You've got how to do the increases themselves. I just wanted, because all we've done up until now is just gently offset them. We haven't done the staggering, the true staggering where you're splitting it so it works over here rather than just over here. I really hope all that makes sense. Please ask for clarification if I'm rambling. Please look at my written post on my blog down here in the description. It makes a lot more sense. And please have a go because when you just start doing it, you might find, oh, okay, Robin's ramblings made no sense whatsoever, but now I'm doing it myself. I'm following the pattern. That makes a lot of sense. So you are free to continue to grow your blanket for as big as you like and it will stay flat as you can tell as far as you've got so far it's staying flat it's not ruffling you haven't got too many stitches and when you finish your blanket and when you decide it's as big as you'd like it to be end on the repeat of row 13 and 14 the non-increase round and then you'll have your petals all the same size all the way around rather than on an increase I hope all that made sense like I say, shout if you have a question. I might attempt to draw a chart, but don't hold me to that because it's quite a lot of symbols to put in a chart. So actually scrap that, I probably won't. I might, I don't know. But for now, there is no chart. But please pop along to my blog for the written pattern. Grab your whirls. It looks so pretty in a whirl because of the soft graduation. Or like I say, you can use any yarn you like. It's worked with this, with a six mil hook. So hopefully you'll all enjoy crocheting your lotus flower circle blankets. Well done for making it this far. Reward yourself with a cuppa and a biscuit and then get back to the crochet. Until later.